Am I the asshole for telling my wife that leaving her used pad in my brother's place was inappropriate? What? (laughs) All right, let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. (laughs) My wife and I were invited to my brother's 31st birthday. He's single and lives alone in the apartment in his apartment. So to give you the heads up, give you the heads up. My wife and him don't get along so well, but can be civil enough to sit at the same table. Okay. All Why right. would you take Weird. her there if yeah, she doesn't you, like him? You could have she could have stayed home on this one. Yeah. Or yeah. she could. You don't yeah. have to go everywhere together. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So we went and had dinner and talked and everything was going well. No argument, nothing, till after my wife went to use the bathroom. Later my brother went to use the bathroom, then came back looking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Real God mad. fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He kept giving me and my wife looks, but I didn't know what was going on until he pulled me aside before we left and told me that my wife had left her used pad in his bathroom. Well, I mean, where else do you want it? In the bedroom? You want it, what, like on your dinner on your plate? Bed, your like, fucking, what do you want? You want her coming out and just like, <laughs> enjoy that on your Alfredo. I was shocked. And didn't know what to say because this felt highly inappropriate. The pad? What? Why? <laughs> it's not a condom. It's not like she just fucked someone in the bathroom. It, even then, condoms go in the trash. Yeah, they go in the trash, yeah. If it's in the trash, who gives a shit? He said he didn't appreciate what my wife did and that it was a sign of disrespect towards him. What? I apologized and profound. I apologized profoundly and said I didn't know about it. He asked me to speak to her or she wouldn't be welcome at in his place anymore. What? <laughs> I can't believe her. Bro, you're bleeding <laughs> out of your pussy and then your husband's going to come and be like, hey, you can't do that around my brother. Because if you have, if you got to use something. You got to stop that. You got to stop that. There are ways to shut this shit down, you know? This is stupid. What a dumbass. Yeah. What the fuck? We got in the car and I asked my wife about it. She nonchalantly said there was nothing wrong with what she did and that my brother was being ridiculous. I kind of flipped and told her it was very inappropriate for her to leave her used pad in his place, even if it was in the bathroom and in the trash can because it made him uncomfortable. She yelled, asking what she was supposed to do. Yeah, and I told her that she could have took it with her and threw it outside, not in his bathroom. Why outside? Uh, that's Just in the grass? <laughs> like, why? Yeah, that's like, worse. I guess the outside trash, maybe? Stupid. Still, yeah. Then you gotta, like, hold it. Yeah, just holding a bunch of fucking pussy blood <laughs> all a, the way to the drive. warm used tad, used pad, like, soaked with pussy blood? Yeah, no. Period blood. Why would you know? What? That's stupid. It's not fun. It's not awesome. Yeah, I, I'm blowing the bet. Yeah, that's my brother's place, and he told me uh, how he felt about it. She yelled at me, calling my brother an incel and me an asshole for getting in her face about it. She said she needed to use the bathroom, and it's not like the pad was uh, visible since she dumped it in the trash can. At home, we still argued about it, and she kept on calling me and my brother names. Uh, she's currently not speaking to me and is avoiding me entirely. Regardless, I feel like it's his place and he gets to express what <laughs> makes him uncomfortable in it. Is that is that where it ends? No, there's an edit. Oh. I can't give info or expand on what was seen, but I can tell you that the trash can does not have a lid. It's not like one of those trash cans that have a lid on top and you can push it. What I want to emphasize on is the fact that as guests, we should respect people's homes and not argue about what makes them uncomfortable. He said it made him uncomfortable, and that should, in my opinion, be acknowledged. No. No. Stupid. You're the asshole, obviously. And your brother's a fucking wimp. Yeah. Jesus. Like, come on. It's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You're not... Are you gonna touch it? Like, what the fuck? Like, why... Why would you want her to, like, keep it in her purse? That's weird. Yeah. Like, why... Shit like this makes me so mad too As like a woman that When I was younger I used to do pads Yeah And then And but pads are so disgusting too Cause it's like a bath Like you're just kinda like Sitting there in your period blood all day I mean you're supposed to like Change it out like a lot But I mean sometimes you don't have You don't have the time to change it out Yeah Yeah so like, especially if a heavy flow It's like Yeah so like They fill up and then they leak And it's terrible It just sucks It sucks I'm yeah. so pro tampon dog But um 
when I started using tampons, I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> Why have I not been doing this? Yeah. And, um, but yeah, like I used to like, um, I was at my brother's house for yeah. Thanksgiving. I was on my period. This is a horror story. Okay. <laughs> I was using pads, I think. Um, I took my pad off of the bathroom, put it in their trash can. Their trash can, I think, had a lid, but it was out. And they had a dog. Oh. The dog got into the trash because of the blood. Yeah. Dogs can smell it. And so then got into the trash and fucking ripped open everything and caused a huge mess. Jesus. My brothers and my mom interrogated me for, <laughs> for putting my they, my mom was so pissed at me for like not telling her that I was on my period and to not put Why? Who cares? And that like next time to like put it in where a dog can't get it because it's disrespectful or something. And now I look back on I look back on that really as being like ruined Thanksgiving for me. Yeah. But now like that's fucking weird. That's very weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's so strange. It's such a like a uh, like a seen and not heard kind of situation. Mm. Like a, nobody wants to know what what a woman is going through. You know what I mean? Jesus. I'm like, how do you guys have girlfriends? Yeah, literally. Like shit. <laughs> Makes no sense. Yeah. How do you guys have like a wife? They they have to when they're on their period they have to run out of hotel. <laughs> like I get a motel six and I let someone else take care of it because I can't. Like, have you never been around a woman? <laughs> no, because they're gross and sticky and you. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> I don't want it. And gross. <laughs> Actually, Sarah, I am very I'm very uncomfortable right now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Like I just want I, I want good. to. <laughs> I just want to make that known so everyone knows. I don't know. Your period's fucking normal. Yeah. Everyone should be okay with it. Even your fucking dad. Even your fucking brothers. Even your fucking, yeah. like, male friends. Everyone should be fucking yeah. cool with you talking about your fucking period. There, there are women that go to work, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, yeah, I just have a warm water bottle on my stomach because I have cramps because of my period. And uh, I've heard stories about this where they've been told that's inappropriate and they need to go home. It's fucking excuse you. It's a part of the body. Yeah, literally. It's a part of life. Yeah. You can't stop it. You're not putting a vibrator between your legs. You're putting a warm water bottle. It's not sexual. It's not sexual at all. No, you know, but yeah. it's it's you know it's the sexualization of uh, women and girls. That's true. Yeah. God. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Yeah. God. Solved it though. Solved it. Solved it, baby.